how to use image search, pixel search, and image to text OCR in Pullover's Macro Creator. First, we're going to start with image search. So that's the image search. Now, before we use it, we have to first set the window. So we click on window and then click on when when activate and then make sure the title and class is selected then we click on three dots and then we click on the window where we are going to search for the image so the image I'm gonna search for is CapCut so I'm gonna right click here now it's, now the, the the activated window will be my desktop now this is very important because if you don't if you don't do this step you're gonna have a lot of problem like it's not gonna work properly like the image search will not work properly so now click on image search now for the region this is the area where the the macro will search for the image the default is like the entire screen also uh one important thing is whenever you're using uh, the pullover macro creator always use one monitor like don't if you have multiple monitors uh, active at the same time it's gonna cause a lot of problems so only have one monitor active uh, when you're using uh, uh, pullovers macro creator so we're gonna keep the region as the default if you need to change it you can click on the three buttons and then you can drag the area where you want to search for the image but i want to leave it as default so i'm just gonna go ahead and reset here so that's the default now for the image there is three types there is a image search pixel search and image to text in this video we're going to cover the image search so we're going to click on make screenshot this will select the the target uh, image that we want to to detect so i'm gonna hold hold and click the right mouse button now i can um, select the area where i have to look like for the target image it's going to show the preview for the image that we we're looking for now normally the add if statement is selected so just keep it it's very useful so if the image is found we can choose to continue or click the left mouse button or the right mouse button or stop the loop so for now i'll just keep it at continue now this is also very useful it's like uh, it adjusts the coordinates to the center of the image so that when the macro finds the image it will center your mouse pointer to the center like so that it if you want to click on it to open the folder so we're gonna tick it now for the coordinate always set it to screen and for the delay always keep it at zero also make sure to check the repeat until found this will keep looping uh, till it finds the image now keep now after you, you have done everything here you click on ok now to verify if the macro is working properly uh, we're gonna put a message box inside the if statement so if the image was found we're gonna have a message box that says the image was found click ok now we're going to test it out click on run macro so here it says that it found the image so we can choose to click on the image like we can go back to the image search now we can let's say if we want to left click on the image so click apply then run the macro again so this click on the image now we can now if the if the 
macro was having a hard time finding the image then you probably need to change the variation the default is to have it set as zero if it's set as zero it means it's going to look for the exact same image that you gave it uh, sometimes the image is too small or too complicated and it can be hard for the macro to find it so you make it easier by setting the variation to 20 or 50 this will give it more uh, sort of like range to look for it doesn't have to look for the exact image but it will look for something very similar to it so if we set it at 50 if if it didn't work at zero then we'll set it at 50 and then click on apply then we run it and then here it works it found the image now you only need to change the variation if the macro is not able to find the image so I'm just gonna set it back to zero and then run the macro and then yep yeah, it finds the image okay that's how you use the image search in pullovers macro creator how to use image to text OCR in pullovers macro creator so we're gonna go to image to text and then select the OCR image to text OCR now we're gonna select the region where we want to extract the text from the image so I have this image right here I'm going to extract uh, these words so click on the region click on the three dots and then hold and right hold uh, the right mouse button and then drag so you can cover the entire text now here is where you have to put the output variable so you can this is the output variable name that you will need so you can call it like whatever I will call it my OCR now you want to copy it control C because we're gonna use it now click on message box now type percent and then paste the uh, output my like the output variable that we named my OCR and then percent so now this will show the extracted text click OK also before you run it you have to have a delay so we're gonna have a delay before the OCR so we're gonna click on here click on delay uh, sorry pause I'm gonna have a two second delay this is really important because it allows time for this uh, this window to go away so that the OCR can see the actual image if you don't put this pause you're gonna have trouble actually extracting like the OCR will not work properly so make sure to have an, uh, a delay before the OCR so run it now keep in mind this doesn't always work so it looks like it didn't extract extract it properly we're gonna try run it again now if it didn't work you can click on the OCR and then try to readjust the region so we have the region so we're gonna make sure to select it properly here click apply click OK now it looks like it's working properly now this OCR like image to text doesn't always work properly like it's not perfect sometimes you need to play around with it um, we can try even like for example like selecting text on my screen so you can let's say I want to select here this part five videos only then click on run 
it shows like the extracted text that's how to use image to text OCR in pullovers macro creator how to use uh, pixel search in pullovers macro creator so we're gonna open um, we're gonna use pixel search so that it search for this yellow pixel and then clicks on the icon so first go to click on uh, window first we have to set the window it's, that's really important if you don't do it uh, then the pixel search will not work properly also make sure that title and class is selected so click on the three dots and then right click here now we have this window as the active window the Google is the active window now click on image image search pixel search now keep the region as it is the default one now click search change it to pixel and then click on uh, we need to set the pixel now so uh, let me just show you here uh, I'm, uh, to set the pixel click on uh, get pixel on screen then hover over the the pixel that you want to select so I want to select this yellow pixel like for this yellow icon so right click now it shows like the pixel that I've selected now keep everything the same like uh, if statement add the if statement now here make sure the coordinate is set to screen and then um, repeat until found and then I want if the image is found if the pixel is found to click to right click it so I'm gonna if image is found uh, sorry if pixel is found then right click then add an if statement okay and then here click OK once you're done just click OK now we're gonna test this out so click on run the macro so uh, looks like it's working properly so we're going to test it out one one more time here yep looks like it's, uh, it's working fine okay so that's how to use pixel search in pullovers macro creator thank you for watching